third phaseman Blake Cousins along with my brother Brett and we're going to go over a couple videos that have just come to us via Seed to Shatter. He's got a YouTube channel and he's in Southern California and he's been submitting videos to us over the past couple days and he's given us permission to share it with you right now. Let's get to the first one. He captured this just today. the video and some people right away are saying that this could be just a flock of birds let's just zoom in get a closer look and see if these guys are birds or not because what we're looking at at this moment is some kind of squadron of ufos in my opinion brent i want to get your thoughts here yeah, look at that formation. That's what I like about what we're looking at here. There's some sort of continuity to it. They seem kind of like programmed. What I was thinking is this like maybe a sort of skywriting techniques of drones in formation creating what you see over the skies of LA. But this is new tech, what I'm looking at here, Blake. If these are drones, they're moving super fast and the altitude that these are are incredibly high. These are in the vicinity of major airliners and they're moving super quick. If they have some kind of AI technology, this is something that we're looking at right now. We're gonna have to rule out birds, right? Yeah, as soon as I showed one of our friends this video, he said, look, it looks like there's, you can see the wings flapping on it. They, he thought it was birds legitimately, but when we move in, we could tell that these are something that is mechanical, something new, high tech. He actually manages to hold the camera pretty steady and zoom in to get a clear shot of these drones uh, display in the sky. And right now, I don't think they're fighter pilots or some kind of uh, small aerial craft with humans piloting these things. It's way too small, way too high. There has to be some kind of artificial intelligence that is controlling these things in the skies. Are these unmanned drones? Whatever it is, we could tell the synchronicity between what's traveling in the skies. We know it's not random, they're controlled, and for what? That's a big question. Absolutely. Now, let's get to the second video captured by the CT Shatter. This is going to blow you away. A swarm of crows surrounding some kind of unusual object. Take a look at this. display of an aerial phenomenon in regards to crows possibly interacting with some kind of UFO, a magnetic field that attracts the birds in a flock surrounding this unusual object. Is this some, maybe just a balloon floating away? I would see why the crows would have no reason to surround it. It seems like they're actually attracted to it. Very strange video. Let's get a closer look. All right, Brent, you're looking at this. I want to get your thoughts. I don't see a tether, and that's a big question. Is there a tether on this? Is it an advertisement balloon or some sort of man-made object? We're not sure what we're looking at. I'm, I'm seeing the crows, which I find fascinating. It seems like it flies in front of this object. It gives some sort of dimension, a mass to it. How large do you think this is, Blake? Well, we're trying to get a good close-up 
on it and right now I can speculate it seems like they're surrounding this thing so I'd have to estimate from the size of a crow and whatever the distance is from the cameraman himself to the object I would have to say it would be at least 15 to 25 feet in its formation whatever it is it's unusual but what's more unusual is that these crows are surrounding it and they're basically they're in a frenzy but in my opinion they're attracted to it by its magnetic feel something that's giving some kind of signal to the birds and they're again going crazy i'm looking at it one more time it looks legitimate i'm still wondering could this be cgi i'm gonna ask that question and it looks like we can't explain it. it i don't see any really faults to it i do like that the crows are flying in front of it it gives a moment that i think this is real i think that the sea to shatter captured something legitimate in our skies